I think it makes the most sense to pick up with gratitude. I did. I do know how Willie screwed thing. How succeeded by, but but still screwed things up, or his, um, how he he uh, yeah he he screwed his everything up, even though succeeded in his role. So I I, I have a very clear picture of how that's how that plays out. Uh -oh. Um, but uh, I think I'd like to start though with gratitude. And I, at the end of the last session, I was going through that. That's you know, imagining for myself or, or kind of verbalizing my thought process about how she could get tracked down. And I will say that um, I don't want to, I don't want to like, uh, well, we'll, we'll just, we'll just play and you'll see what I did and you can be upset with me if you want to. Or not. You can be like perfect. Never be, <laughs> I, I'm very rarely upset. Yeah, I, I'm okay. thinking we're pretty pretty good with this you wake up yeah, I, twins thing. I'm not seeing any violation of justification at all. I we'll mean see. Yeah. we'll see. Um so <laughs> so gratitude let's so you know, gratitude has gotten herself to this sleazy hotel, which we've seen before. The staff there is completely blasé about all sorts of goings on what type of rest is she getting like or or is she like what is this and what's what what is like what you know what, what does this look like once she's there yeah i mean i've never like had the shit beaten out of me but i was mm -hmm. earlier yeah. Um. Kind of unfortunately, I was like, "What does it look like when someone has just recently been really beaten?" So I oh, looked that up on the internet. I was like, "Oh wow, that's horrifying." Yeah. And so, yeah. I mean, I assume that if she is able to sleep, because she's really exhausted, then she would just be like completely knocked out. Um. But if okay. she's not, because her face is all, you know, gotten. I think it's probably her. pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. I think getting. Yeah. I think getting comfortable is not a, a, a guaranteed. Right, right. Or and, it's, and, um, and she doesn't carry around like, you know, some kind of opiates. She seems to just use like mm, meth and stuff. Right. So I think probably she's like desperately rolling around in bed and you know trying to sleep and feeling terrible, and probably would like to go out and get some kind of pain relief, but it does not want to go out. Okay. Okay. And and does she do? Is she taking any, like, it, are there anything she's doing to kind of plan ahead or do anything right now? Or, I mean, I imagine, I, I, I can imagine just this, the, just kind of the physical exhaustion and the pain and everything else is, is maybe overwhelming other. Yeah. I think she's just furiously trying to sleep, you know, in that it, mm. if you get to a place of complete mental turmoil and you're trying to sleep, um, I, I will just say, like, seeing videos of myself, I'm like, wow, I just play various stages of myself. And anyways, if you're in a, enough mental turmoil and you're trying to sleep and you're completely enraged, you know, it's yeah. really hard to think about anything other than, like, you need to sleep and you can't not sleep. So I think she's like, she probably punches her pillow at some point, you know, and then kind of calms down a bit and like puts her head into the little dent that she's made, like pretending to herself that she was just preparing a nest with, by punching it, you know, um, that's the kind of stuff. And no, no way. She's definitely just like in her head is like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need to sleep. And so part of that like state of her being like trying to get to sleep and, and being on, on edge is that, you know, the, she's very aware during like the first part of this, attempt this evening as it's getting like that there's like noise in the room next door like pe people mm -hmm. kind of talking and stuff and you know not like sounds like maybe people having like a a, a fun time uh of some oh, sort. yeah yeah but, she's furious at that but yeah yeah but then and and i don't know that she can maybe pinpoint it but at some point there's no noise whatsoever from from the other rooms at all and and in fact it seems like the, the, the level of, of kind of background noise once she kind of clues into this is like much less than than she would expect it to be. Like you're still getting some street noise or whatever, but just like the 
there had been like people kind of coming, walking in the hallway and, you know, there's people in the room next door talking, but now all of that is like done. It's now mm. like very like overly quiet. Like you kind of like hear the, maybe the, the building, like that'll, you know, the kind of creak of the building or maybe the, of the, um, like the heating system, you know, one of these old heating systems, but, but it's, but the, but the, but the human noise that had been fairly constant background for, you know, a, a great, you know, on grading on her nerves because it was sort of interfering with her sleep is now gone. Um, yeah, I think she, you know, this is when, you know, she kind of like gets out of bed and her body's kind of like quivering, like her legs are kind of shaking as she's like walking around. You know, she's really fucking tired. She probably hasn't really eaten anything. Definitely yeah, yeah. hasn't eaten. And um, she's just listening, you know, to this silence in terror. Yeah. And, you know, she goes and gets, you know, that cop's revolver. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And is like, you know, just goes and sits in bed with it, like cradled in her hands, kind of, and just like kind oh, of beautiful. points it towards the door. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Ron. Yeah. The, uh, the contrast um between you know god why don't these people shut up you know oh yeah. i hate this and it's like oh it's quiet one two oh no <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> that's, yeah. that's yeah. very it's much probably like match. a minute it's mm -hmm. there's probably a minute where she's like lying there like oh finally and then she's like fuck mm -hmm. you know yeah so yeah. yeah it probably takes her like a minute or two to, to be like realizing this and then going mm -hmm. and getting this gun and so with the quiet going on, you hear someone act actively trying to get into the door. So so oh, they're, they're, God, they're trying yeah. the doorknob. They're not Jesus. knocking. Yeah. Um, yeah. They're trying it. Um, right. They, and what kind of lock is on the door? Because obviously she locked it when she came in. Yeah. It, so so it you've, like, got the, you've got like the hotel lock with like the, 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 um, mm, with like a, the, um, you know, the bar, which, mm -hmm. uh, probably doesn't you know probably would be hard to to kind of get through without smashing it right and then it and then you've got you can have like the chain or like the, the in a lot of those they've got the latch you know that latch thing yeah i so oh, yeah. know so, so the you, thing yes yeah yeah so you've got that like I, I i'm i'm imagining that rather than a chain um yeah so uh so it would require like, like you're pretty sure that it would require like real damage to get in. Okay, is there a phone in this room? Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Um. Oh, gratitude. Oh my god, this is terrible. Yeah. Um. Uh. Holy shit! Yeah. What Wait, is she gonna do? Freeze. Um. I think she's actually just going to like get kind of I think I a bit like take um uh try to bunch up a bunch of the covers like to make it look like she's sleeping, you know? Yeah. Um okay. and then go and be right next to the door with her gun like that, you know? Just enough of a enough of like a um you know, like bump in the bed that maybe someone could for a second think that she's sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's what she's going to do. Yeah. So, um, so, so this, the, so the, like I said, someone had was trying to, to fiddle with it. You hear, hear that. And then, and then it kind of goes silent again. And, but I think by the time you kind of get over to the door, you, you also don't necessarily like hear anyone moving out there. Right. I, I mean, it can imagine you're sort of very on edge and like, even like trying to hear whatever you can, but right, right now, what, by the time you get over to the door, there's no, nothing's happening. Okay. She's going to sit there for as long as she physically can with the gun. Before, you know, until either she falls asleep from exhaustion or a person comes through the door. And she's just like, you know, shaking and she has terrible trigger discipline. Like her fingers. Yeah, no, of, I, 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 it's, it's very bad. Normally she would have good trigger discipline, but right now, you know, the finger is like 
an inch away from pulling the trigger. Okay, I figure yeah, that makes sense. Um, okay. So, I'll think, I think, um, I think I'd like to do a roll here to, to, to kind of given everything that's going on to Ken and given what m my sense of the antagonists or the, the oppositions here, their strategy, mm -hmm. um, you know, can, can she kind of stay awake? Can she keep it together? Yeah. While this is, yeah. is happening. I think it makes sense considering. Um, uh, so, here. and I think I will look at the situation as being, for all of the things we've mentioned, I'm going to give you one die. Okay. And then I have three pool dice, so I'll spend all of them. And roll one of my four dice. And get a one! Oh my god! There you go. Okay, you can, you can, um, you can narrate the success. Okay. Okay, so you can, um, and so you get the extra die there, so yeah, there you go. Yeah. You're moving on up. Um, so she's, she's on edge. It takes some time, but she does hear someone come back to the door and they seem to be using some type of power tool on it. And it's, it's, it's loud, but it isn't like the loudness of like breaking down the door. Like it's, it's, you know, mm -hmm. especially if as, as you could have sort of figured out like they got they they so someone did something to get the people out of the room next door so if right. so, so pre presumably like you know no one else is like hearing this or like it's not it's not carrying so far that people are hearing it but the 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 lock gets dismantled and then um you know she can time it just right like but 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 she's alert like she's actually like pulls it together you know maybe even snapping herself back from f falling asleep but the 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 bolt the 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 lock piece with the with the bolt is down and then she she figures like what what's the next thing the guy's going to do well he's going to kick it in and the timing is perfect in for you to get the drop on him as he comes through the door and um you uh you recognize him as as Julian Dunn um so you recognize him not as not as the uh, twins who you saw before, but as as this guy who you knew back from your cult days, having the, some guy who has some connections to Zag. You know, some he was you know, and like I said before, like he wasn't really a member of the cult. He like did things for Zag or with Zag and was like around, but was you know was like not. Um, not uh not involved in like the actual activities it seemed like he was always a little bit mysterious like he probably knew you by I mean, he definitely knew you by, by sight and knew him by sight but you wouldn't have necessarily had any communication with him anyways you 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 gather this pretty instantly but it doesn't again like you know you get the drop on him it doesn't phase you and he was not expecting you to be like right there and awake like he 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 was he was expecting a less active on the ball gratitude and so right. so he comes into the he comes into the room um you know even though he kicked the door down he doesn't have anything else in his hands he doesn't he doesn't have a weapon out and you've got the drop on him and he uh has that moment where he like realizes it before before he then tries to put that sh the, the, the face back up of no i'm actually in control but you you see that moment where like he realizes that you you've got the drop on him. So so what do you, what do you want to do? And and I can imagine like he's just in through the door. The door's just been kicked in. You've got the drop on him. He even he even kind of moves a little bit too far into the room. Yeah. And so oh, you, I you, mean, you have some control over like what happens next. Yeah. Just I mean just, Brad, just based on he's he's a little cowed, you know. And you and you've got space. Oh, yeah. He's he's not clo you know he's not close enough to attack you. You've got the you've got the drop on him. Mm -hmm. If you wanted space. to shoot him now, it's not a conflict. 
Yeah, Gratitude's finger does, does this a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's as soon as he out. comes through the door, she shoots him. I mean, she's like completely freaking out. Perfect. She, I think what happens, she shoots him and then uh, and then identifies who he is, you know? Perfect. And it yeah. might be hard to because she shoots him in the head. Like, she's aiming like right up there. So I think oh, she blows sorry. off a big chunk of his head. I think what I think it is is that he, he his 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 face drops. You know, he gets that sense of I'm I'm got the 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 drop on me. Then mm-hmm. it kind of goes back, and he's like, No, I'm gonna take charge. And then the trigger yeah. goes off. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's it's the type of thing where you don't stop shooting until it's all empty. You okay. know. Perfect. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Um, um. Yeah. And now and then and then she realizes all that stuff about who he is. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, just from this player's chair. Uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's that's perfect. Geez, that that makes this little character story a little easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's it, we'll, 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 we will we will see the ramifications. Oh, how they I, play out. I'm not that confident. <laughs> I seem to have irritated zag at least once so far and that's yes Mm -hmm. well well you know so i don't so i will say that um okay so you though now um what well i i I do want to know what you do right after that what's the what's what does gratitude do right now Uh, with this yeah i mean you know she's gotta she's literally got to just run and that was very loud because it wasn't just one shot. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very okay. very loud. So she's going to run. Uh, which which direction or what what strategy? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So what strategy? Um, I don't think she expected. Even though it might sound dumb, I don't think she expected to be found here. Yeah, yeah um, that's fair. Yeah. And so I think uh, I don't know. Like she's just gonna run. I mean, yeah. Where where would her mind go? I think. She's just gonna run and try to find someone to like hitchhike with, get get away from this place, basically. Like, um, yeah, I think she's gonna try to get to like some highway. You know, maybe she'll take a t- taxi. So, or so to, to I, I gotta rewind just a little. So, is she gonna like go out the front door, try to try to sneak out the oh, back way? Yeah, right. Sorry. No, that's fine. So, um, I think. So, like, what floor am I on? Of the hotel, I guess. Is I I don't. I think it's. Two. I think we said it was like seven or eight floors. So. Seven or eight floors. Okay. I, I'm she imagining you're on like the fourth floor. Or, I mean, okay. it's up to you. She could have. I, I actually wonder. I don't think she would have been strategic with the room. So whatever. Yeah, on the fourth. I was floor. the fourth floor. Yeah. So she's gonna like step o- lurch over this guy's body, and um, then run back in to get any remaining cash. You know, because. Yeah. Anything you want to search remaining. his body? Do you want to roll him? Um, I think she, yeah, she goes and is like looking, and then she goes over to his body and is just like quickly like, does he have a wallet? She's like, she needs some fucking cash because she's gonna take a taxi. He, he doesn't have a wallet, I'm but so he does funny. have like a money clip with with a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, so she grabs that and she's just like, he, he also has a he, he also has a um, knife like a uh, uh, oh like a, yeah a, a nice a nice big uh, you know yeah. kind of military grade knife yeah and she takes that and leaves the gun next to him and then not in like a ooh I'm gonna just in yeah, like yeah, a yeah. this has no bullets anymore and then she um uh, she starts to just like you know leave and she's um she's runs but is yeah she's running to leave okay well she just shot someone so i think she's just trying to walk out okay okay yeah yeah. okay okay she's trying to keep it cool she's trying to walk yeah so i'll we'll 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 pick it up right there maybe but i want to (laughs) move to willie just to kind of see what's going on (laughs) 